What's going on, everyone? So I'm going to keep this nice and short. This is going to be the basic TLDR to the uh, Reddit post that will be in the description of this video. Um, so this is how to predict what Modoc's damage is going to do through his flux. So for those who don't know, Modoc's flux attrib his attributes fluctuate through the flight in a complex, seemingly unpredictable manner. That's mostly true. But at the same time, looking at just his attack rating and his critical damage rating, you can predict when to hit your specials to get maximum damage, maximum critical damage, and just land massive 7,000 plus in a single hit of an SP2. And Modok as a defender is really cool, but a lot of people overlook his defense his offensive capabilities with his SP1 reversal. And but now you can now with being able to predict his damage, he can do even more on offense. So these are a crap ton of graphs using all of this all these numbers. A hundred and fifty hundred and fifty nine hits. Um or I took down number the number of the hit, the damage the hit did, whether it was critical or not, the type of hit so I could separate it into media and light. And then I only used SP2 throughout the entire fight. And then the critical rate, which was done with comparing two medium hits. So if it was a medium crit, I compared a, a non-critical medium to it to get the critical rate number. So I separated it to medium non-crit, medium critical, light non-critical, everything that was not a special, all basic non-critical, and the multiplier. So, this is what I came up with. You have the complete damage, no specials, and the complete damage with specials. Those look like crap. You're looking at these, you're thinking, I'm never going to be able to predict when, you can, when to hit my special. And, yeah, that's pretty much how bad his flux looks. But that's with looking at two variables at a time. Although we're only going to compare the attack rating and critical damage in the video because the block efficiency, power rate, and ability accuracy, there's not enough data to predict those. These still look pretty awful. But if I show you the just the non-critical hits, so you're only looking at attack rating, this looks a little bit more manageable. So the non-critical medium, there's not a lot of data points, which is why it looks a lot more linear than it actually is. But as you can see, you have, and this is also the same it's true for the light, on every hit, you're going to be increasing a little bit until you reach a peak value, and then you're going to go back to decrease. Increase, peak value, decrease. This goes for the medium, and for the light, and just overall damage too. You can see with each of these peaks, it's going up, then going back down over here. Um, so that's just, that's the most simple way to look at it. If you look at the damage Modoc is doing in a fight, you say, okay, he did 473. Next hit did 490. Okay, do another combo. He's doing 500, 600. Do a third combo, he's doing 700. That's going to be about his peak at an R3. Hit the SP2 then, hope you didn't max the peak, and hit a crit. And your, your damage is going to be massive. Looking at this with specials, on hit 136, my SP2 second, third hit did 7,000 damage. It's insane for an R3 Modoc. It's a five star. All basic non-crit, so this is medium and light. You can again, you can see increase, peak, decrease. It's very sine wave-esque in general. Um, you know, there's no real... There's definitely an element of randomness in his damage, but it is... I think it really is predictable. Um, this this fight, to fight against Captain Marvel took a total of 300 hits. Three, 382. It's almost 400. 
Um, and then I went back using just like 30 hit, 30, 50 hits or something like that when I just started making this data, and I was able to shave off 20 hits just by saying, okay, use my SP3 at, say, hit number 25, where I'm, cl I'm close to a peak or something like that. So, um, final ones want to show off medium crit and crit multiplier. So, every time you hit the medium crit, you can see that the crit multiplier also increases, which it's kind of obvious. Four peaks for this, four peaks kind of for this. This is medium and light crits. Um, but then comparing it to this, you can see that the medium regular damage goes up. You can see four peaks in the 152 at around the same areas. So his attack rating, so drawing just from this, you can assume that his attack rating increases with his attack rating, um, which makes his, which makes creating a formula for his flux even more complex. Um, but the basic thing I want to show is that Modox flux does have a pattern. It's not just command that just put a brand into the code and say that's what his flux is going to be. It's it's predictable. Uh, last thing I want to point out before I stop. I did the test with three synergies. Without the synergies, it took an extra 120 hits. Um, singularity made me create on every fifth hit every instead of seven. Again, another way to know what Mono's going to do. He creates on every seventh hit, five of the synergy. You can use that SP2 and purposely land crit. Um, Mastermind, 15% attack after 15 hits. So. The first 15 hits aren't going to be the exact same, but the site with us, that every other one is going to be the exact same. It just gives me a raw attack increase. And Cherry Larcency um, with Gwenpool does plus 25% uh, flux max, um, which I don't, there's not much change. Um, all that means is that your crit multiplier and medium aren't going to be able to increase that much, but since as far as I can tell, everything or the attack rating and critical damage go up together, so assuming that everything else goes up the same together, you're only going to be getting how you're only going to be getting a 5% increase in each, assuming that they're linear together. So that's what I found. Um, do you have any ideas for collecting more data for what you found. I, this is, I'm the, as far as I can tell, I'm the only first person who's looked at this, and I'd love to see what other people's thoughts are. So let me know. The link to the Reddit post and to this spreadsheet will be in the comments of the video. Uh, thanks for watching.